We begin tonight with a suspect locked up on murder charges for the death of a beloved synagogue president. It's been nearly two months since Samantha Wohl's name made national headlines. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. Wohl was brutally stabbed in her home in Lafayette Park in October. A suspect was arrested in Kalamazoo three weeks later and then released. Fast forward to Sunday. A person of interest was taken into custody and formally charged today. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast explains what Detroit police revealed in court. After nearly two months of investigation, Detroit police and the Wayne County prosecutor say the man responsible for murdering synagogue leader Samantha Wool has finally been arrested, facing multiple charges, including her murder. Investigations don't usually happen in the 44 minute legal procedural type TV shows. They take time, they take attention, they take energy. The suspect, 28-year-old Michael Manuel Jackson Balonis from Detroit, does not know Wool, and it's believed he stabbed Wool in her home during a home invasion. WXYZ doesn't normally show mugshots, but we felt in this case it was in the public's interest to see who was accused of murdering Samantha Wool. Police say he is responsible for other larcenies, and according to the MDOC, he has a criminal history. He became a prime suspect after a separate arrest weeks ago. We identified him as someone in that particular area uh, that we were curious about uh, his actions. Uh, we were able to link him to a number of larcenies. Uh, and then when we brought him in on, on questioning on those larcenies, uh, we got into some other parts of the investigation. Uh, some concerns came up. A life filled with such meaning and passion and goodness to be taken away in such a cruel way. Um, it's, uh, it shows that this world is very broken. Rabbi Asher Lopatin is one of many community leaders who knew Wool, describing her as a loving person who valued and united everyone. He says the investigation and uncertainty surrounding her death was an emotional roller coaster. Everyone really wanted to know how could someone do this and who did this. And in some ways, the answer is not going to be, we're not going to get a good answer to that, but we will hopefully be able to move on a little bit better. Wool was president of the Isaac A. Gree Synagogue downtown. While her case sparked national and international attention, police say it wasn't a hate crime. Because none of the evidence suggests that. And again, this, this has been consistently investigated since October the 21st. And so there's not a shred of evidence that points to the fact that this was a hate crime. While that brings some relief, Rabbi Lopatin says the senselessness also brings sadness and anger, but hopes her death won't be in vain. She did value life, every person's life, and so as sad and tragic as it is, we know that that's, we got to redouble our efforts uh, to, to make, get her message across and to live her message. And the charge of felony murder alone carries a life sentence without the possibility of parole. That suspect is due back in court on December 27th. In downtown Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Brett. We did receive this statement on behalf of the Wolf family that says in part, Samantha's death is an unspeakable tragedy that has affected not only her family and friends, but also those who knew her as a devoted community activist, leader, and bridge builder. She was loved deeply and her light spread far and wide.